couple of months ago, I did a video about Performa coating and how it would protect your circuit board on corrosive properties such as salt and water, rainwater, and stuff like that. I did not touch on the subject about dust. Dust can cause problems too, and I didn't think about it until last week when I was working at my current job and we were working on a piece of equipment. Dust can cause all sorts of problems. Now this next paragraph I'm going to quote from a website called wellpcb.com. Because of its hydrophilic nature, it can form a conductive electrolytic film that can compromise the surface insulation resistance between conductors. Even without the water, the particle can increase friction on contact surfaces, promoting wear and corrosion. Furthermore, since they act as a dielectric, they can also induce signal interference in the connectors and lines. And that became very true when I was working on this circuit board with a coworker of mine. We were working on a blood flow inductor. Well, what it does is it measures in megahertz and it sounds like an, it's an ultrasonic equipment and what this equipment would do and it had nothing but white noise and static. So he was about ready to just send it off for repair and I said, hey, have you tried cleaning the board? This is a very specific equipment that uses ultrasonic, uses megahertz signal. You should always just blow your dust off of your board. So I took and blew the dust off. Long and behold, all the problems went away. So it's as simple as that. When they say to clean your circuit board when you're working on a piece of equipment, really, that's a beneficial for you and the future use and wear and tear of your equipment. And not just blowing dust in a wind, so to speak. You're not just saying it's just to give you more work. It's just saying it so you can actually clean the circuit board and will prevent problems in the future. That's all I have to talk about today. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time.